Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. This is Nick with Scent Remix. Welcome back to the channel. So I have for you today in this video five recommendations for almond heavy fragrances that I absolutely love and enjoy wearing. So almond, when you think about it, is a pretty awesome note. It not only is very versatile in the fact that it can be very sweet, very bitter, but it also pairs so well with other notes. You can put it with citruses and florals. You can put it with vanilla, coconut, coffee, and just create some really, really amazing fragrances. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this list. All right, so the first that I would like to show you comes from Caswell Massey, and it is Centuries Almond. Caswell Massey has been around since 1752, so it's been around for quite a long time and with good reason. I've had the opportunity to try a lot of their fragrances, and I have loved every single one of them, with Centuries Almond being my favorite. So this is a great fragrance if you like your almond fragrances, very sweet, very natural smelling. And when I say sweet, I do mean sweet. This one comes off in the opening like a, a cherry liqueur, cherry cordial. It does have cherry in it. It's got tonka bean. And the tonka bean is not really the green variety that uh, we're used to in a lot of fragrances, but it comes off more like a sweet tobacco almost. So very nice. In addition, this has musk and it has salt, which uh, really serves to temper the sweetness quite a bit um, so that it's not overwhelming or cloying in any way. This is a very unisex fragrance and can be equally worn by female or male, and uh, it performs very well too. I was very surprised, in fact, by the performance. I just kind of figured it would have been a lighter scent, but uh, yeah, it does really great on my skin the first couple of hours. It also projects very well too. So for a very sweet, natural smelling almond fragrance, this would be a great choice. Caswell Massey, Centuries Almond. So if you're looking for something a little bit more out of the box, a little bit more unique, then look no further than Serge Laton's Couture Noir. Now I have a hard time saying that, so I'm going to say it as few times as possible. But with this one, you get a huge helping of almond and heliotrope along with a very sharp tuberose that just makes for a very interesting, very unique opening. Um, in fact, when I first tried this one, I had a hard time determining whether or not I was going to, to truly like it or not. But when that opening kind of dissipates a little bit, it gradually fades, um, you realize at that point what a beautiful scent this is. And um, it's, it's, just, it's just a unique fragrance. That's, uh, that's the only way to describe it. There is a tiny bit of coconut in this and other notes like vanilla, tonka bean, lemon blossom, apricot, mandarin orange, and myrrh. This is also very unisex. Um, it performs, projects very well, at least off my skin. So again, if you're looking for something a little bit more interesting, as far as an almond fragrance is concerned, check this one out. Serge Laton's The Tour Noir. So next on the list, if you are in search of a nice warm weather almond fragrance, this is a great one here. This is Aqua de Parma Mandorlo de Cecilia. Um, this is also a very natural smelling almond, uh, very soft, very creamy. And um, it's one that you spray on initially and it's very deceiving because you kind of get the idea that it's not going to perform very well. Um, it's going to be a lightweight scent, probably will sit very close to the skin and, and just won't last very long. But I tell you, you allow this one to sit on your skin and to really warm up. And um, I, I was just really surprised. Um, this almost like radiates off your skin um, and ends up performing very, very well for the type of scent that it is. But it's very vanillic, it's very balsamic. Um, with an interesting touch of like a fruity licorice because this has white peach, it's got star anise, ylang ylang, cedar, and jasmine. So yeah, it's a phenomenal fragrance for spring and summer. Perhaps you could even push this into the fall if you wanted to. 
This is also pretty unisex, and as I already mentioned, the performance is just outstanding. So for warmer weather, Aqua de Parma, Mandorlo, the Cecilia. All right, so we have a warm weather almond fragrance. How about a cooler weather? Well, I would have to go with this. This is Guerlain Lome Ideal, the Eau de Toilette version, or the original. And I went with this one because, as you know, um, there are several in the line that are very heavy on the almond. I could have gone with the Eau de Parfum or even the Cologne, but for variety's sake, I went with the EDT because, you know, I do feel like that this one is a little bit more masculine. It's a little bit more versatile. And just, I mean, plainly speaking, the other two get talked about quite a bit. So, yeah, that's why I went with the EDT. And I absolutely love it. Um, in addition to the almond, you have um, tonka bean and you have a really, really nice leather. And you guys know how much I love my leather fragrances. So I love the fact that this has the leather in it. But in addition, it's got citrus, it's got rosemary, cedar, and vetiver. Now, a lot of guys say that they could make this their signature scent, and I understand fully why they would say that, because, yes, it is just a very versatile fragrance. It could fit just about any occasion. You can wear it to work, be a great office scent, but then you could turn around and you could wear it out for drinks later on or to a more um, formal, special type occasion. So, yes, very versatile. The performance, I would say, is pretty average. I can normally stretch this to about six, seven hours on my skin, which isn't that bad, and it projects pretty moderately. So for cooler weather, my recommendation would be Guerlain Lome Ideal, the EDT, or the original. And we always save the best for last, right? And I did hold off on this one because this does happen to be my favorite on the list. I also wanted to do an almond fragrance that would be great for date night or a more intimate type occasion. And so I went with this beauty here. This of course is Parfums de Marley Pegasus. Um, already so much has been said about this fragrance. I mean, I don't really know what in the world I could add it's just, it's a marvelous uh, scent. The combination of the vanilla and the almond along with the lavender sandalwood, it's just, it's so beautiful. I just really love it. I love the way that it performs on my skin because I feel like that it performs just enough, if you know what I mean. Um, and it does, it sits rather close to the skin, which makes it, just a great, more intimate encounter type of fragrance. So what I picture is, you know, an intimate dinner, just you and your better half, you know, a nice corner tight booth at a restaurant, or maybe even staying in. Now this is a little pricier, so I don't know how you would feel about, you know, just wearing this around the house. But yeah, I mean, if you decided to have a date night in where you're just ordering in food, you're hanging out on the sofa watching your favorite movie. I think this would be a great fragrance. It's just so cozy. It's so inviting. Um, yeah, and it's just it's it's just pretty amazing. It also has a little bit of cumin, which I like. It's kind of like an underlying spiciness there. That um, it's just it's a wonderful fragrance. So this would be my recommendation for yes, like that more intimate um, close encounter type situation, date night, you know, something like that. Pegasus by Parfums de Marley. All right, so that will do it for this list. Those are my five recommendations for almond heavy fragrances for my collection that um, I just I really enjoy. So I really appreciate you stopping by checking this video out today. If for some reason you haven't taken the time to subscribe, please consider doing so. Also, make sure you hit the notification icon so that you will be notified of any future videos that I upload. And also, check me out over on Instagram, too. I've got a great Instagram page where I do daily postings, my scent of the day, uh, fragrances that I'm trying out and sampling for the first time, 
uh, fragrance photography, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, drop by over there and uh, follow me there on, on Instagram. All right, well, that will do it. I hope that you guys take care. You stay safe out there. And until the next video, we will see you. Thank you.